r slash ask reddit. What is something about yourself that sounds totally made up, but is 100% real? I was the best man on both sides of a lesbian wedding because I had dated both the bride and the bride, stayed close friends and introduced them to each other after our breakups. I was at a store when Tony Hawk was signing autographs. I was only 10 at the time and was a huge fan. One of his early video games had just come out. The store had a couple TVs on the wall and some video games to play. Being a kid, I waited for one controller to open up and someone leave. A kid ended up leaving and I grabbed the controller and started playing and minding my own business. A couple minutes later, the store wanted to grab photos of Tony playing his own video game. He came over and grabbed the second controller and began to play multiplayer with me. Probably played for 10 minutes. The bonus was it was also my 10th birthday. So I played Tony Hawk Pro Skater with Tony Hawk. Edit. Wow, I made this comment and didn't return to Reddit until just now was not expecting it to be that big of a hit. Thank you. I do not have photos of myself playing the game with him, but I believe my parents have a couple of photos of me with him and getting his autograph. I still had the signed board on my wall. Nice try sneaking that bees in at the end. We all know you were turning 11. I published four peer-reviewed scientific papers on hamster testicles. Edit. Holy crap. I never thought I would write this, but I never thought I would write this, but I inbox. I'm currently working on a critical COVID-related project which doesn't involve testicles and thus would be much less exciting for redditing purposes. That's quite the achievement. But why didn't you publish them in journals? A pelican engulfed my head with its massive effing beak when I was a small child. Pelicans are cunts. I won two TV game shows. <laughs> the $10,000 Pyramids won $10,300. In 1975, in 1975 and the show for nine days won $34 skin cash and prizes in $84 skin cash and prizes in 85. Nice. I've never won anything in my life. Now you have. I got run over by a car, but the driver didn't see me and proceeded to back over me. Edit. Thanks for all the kind words. I'm shocked at the amount of people who said that this happened to them or someone they know slash knew as well. The world really is a weird place. And for all who are asking, my legs are perfectly fine now. Well, side note, I actually really enjoy running. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's, no, I'm not from China, nor have I ever lived there. An American, I don't quite understand why people are asking this. E, edit hashtag two. A couple Redditors have pointed out to me that it's because killing someone in China is apparently less expensive, which is a horrifying thought, but thanks for the explanations. It hashtag three. How is my mental health? Was I traumatized? Well, it very effing terrifying at the time, and I was definitely scared of cars afterwards. But if you're asking if I'm feeling any trauma too these days, then I would say not very much at all. Thanks for asking, though. Is he dead? No. Throws it into reverses. I ran out of gas outside of La Paz, Bolivia. Luckily, it was downhill for about six game into the city. I coasted the whole way on my motorbike, passed buses, and drifted into a gas station. Never missed a beat. Sounds like you saved a litter of fuel to me. At age 50, odd, and with limited to no video game experience, my mother completed Mario 64 before I did, in about half the time it finally took me to do it. My brother is 31, and 19, and when he was born his grandmother, we don't share the same father, bought him an S. My mother, not knowing what to do with it, turned it on and played Super Mario Bros. She spent two months every day trying to beat the game, even buying a strategy guide to go through it. She beat the game and never touched a video game again. My mom bought my brother and I a Sega. Then every night after we went to bed, she would play Sonic. As a kid, I thought she just loved playing games. As I got older, I realized she only did it so that when we asked her for help, she would be able to... A few years ago, for her birthday, I got her a Sega with Sonic and Sonic 2. I bought everything from the Sonic. When I was a kid, I woke up to find my cat giving birth to her kittens on my pillow one inch from my face. I took it as a compliment. I am related to William Henry Harrison, the president who died from hypothermia because he wouldn't wear a jacket. My great-grandfather and his son both died from hypothermia as well, but under slightly different experiences. I have almost died from eating way too many vitamins, jumping into a ceiling fan, and jumping from a cliff. My dad almost lit a gas station on fire. Basically, we are a very dumb bloodline starting from William Henry Harrison. Someone get this man an agent. And a jacket. I was once sponsored by the Crunk Energy Drink Company for sailing. I imagine I was the only sailor on their list. I literally just emailed them saying that I sailed and asked if they wanted me to put stickers on my boat. They sent me a few cases of the drink t-shirts, hats, the works. My car was known as the Crunk.
That's badass. When my mum was in grad school, she took several labs where she worked with cadavers. Because my dad worked nights, she often had to take me to class with her, and she'd usually just plonk me down on the table with the cadaver while she worked on it. I saw the former prime minister of Poland in his underwear. That's not how the rhyme goes. I see... I see France. I see the prime minister of Poland in his underpants. Husband and I fell in love at first sight. Moved in together after two days. Married five months later. Still married. It will be 40 years in May. Congrats, son, 40 years. That's amazing. I want to find love like that someday. I am one of very few people outside want to live through mustard gas. So rare the doctors, 1995, no internet, had no idea how to treat me. How? It's four-day award. I got hernia by sneezing too hard. I got mine trying to match my wife's pregnant belly. <gasps> I feel sorry for laughing. What a way to get it. I cannot see three defects in movies or games. I didn't know that until a friend showed me his new Nintendo 3s, and I asked him whether this thing was a scam because it didn't look any different to me than a normal D. We had a fight over this because we both thought the other one was bullshitting him. You're holding it wrong. How the F do you not see this? Are you effing kidding me right now? There's nothing threed about this thing. Same. I always thought it had to do with being colorblind when I was younger since they used the colored lenses. Years later, I had my vision checked where they used two images. One for either eye to check depth perception and I failed miserably. How's your depth perception? One of my ancestors was dumb and bought one of Napoleon's doorknobs. It turns out it's fake. Doorknobs were invented after Napoleon died. Once in college, I applied for a job at the library help desk. I figured I would help people find books. Didn't give it much more thought than that. During the interview, I aced all of the customer service questions. Then they asked me whether I knew how to defrag a hard drive. Cue alarm bells in my head, but I kept calm outwardly and said no, but you can teach me. I worked in it for three years by accident. They were too nice to fire me. I made my last boss swear on her life she wouldn't call me for tech support. They call my cell when I'm sick in bed and ask how to reinstall the printer, not a dang week later. It's always the printers that get you. You can be a 55-year-old E2, but when then CEO's printer stops working, you're the one who has to open it up and pretend like I ain't a one who knows how to fix a printer. My great-great-grandfather was a Pinkerton detective, acted on vaudeville, and had five wives in two different states that knew nothing of each other. He also slightly changed his last name each time and never got caught until Ancestry website happened low. Did he ever encounter Vanderlind or O'Driscoll gangs? I once successfully ran an unfunded shelter for a 100 homeless veterans as a homeless civilian. How did this come to be, if I may ask? I've been in three fatal train accidents. Never had a scratch. Wait. Fatal to other people, or do we got some undead stuff going on? All three trains died so that he could live. He wasn't on any of those trains. I had my tongue surgically enhanced for more reach and flexibility when I was eight. Idiot! I'm super jazzed by how many of us are out there. Interesting. I've never met anyone that has had their tongue clipped. I had mine done as a toddler and I guess they sort of overshot the mark because I ended up with a Gene Simmons style. Yeah, mine was bad enough that I couldn't really reach the back of my upper front teeth, so Lels were a particular issue until I had it done. I cannot taste any salt whatsoever. Edit. For people asking it's a brain thing, food tastes bland, salted chips taste plain, and I've not had any British food. Edit too. I can still taste other spices and herbs. No, I don't know what cum tastes like. Sorry to put you on blast, dude, but that's weird. Salt water just tastes bad, and SD and other sodium-based things just make me gag getting on Xbox, Overwatch, etc. Doesn't help, but I can smell the salt. What do you taste if you put a bit of salt in your mouth? Nothing. Ill feel it there, but that abbot. I was baptized by a serial killer. Back. Key. Arrested and spent three days in a holding cell for a crime that I didn't commit. About a year after the whole matter was done and dusted with. Mind you, I say didn't commit the crime. But, I say didn't commit the crime. But, I was involved in the story from start to finish. What was the crime you were accused of? 
My grandfather went a wool on the French Foreign Legion and was banned from ever going back to France. All because he left to marry my grandmother. Edit. <laughs> oh God, this blew up Reddit. YouTubers, please don't feature this comment. One of my dad's friends was in the RAF, but he got bored of it and went to wool and joined the French Foreign Legion. However, he got bored of that, so he went to wool and went back to the RAF and took his punishment. However, this is not where the story ends. Later, he and his platoon including my dad, were going on a skiing training camp in Italy. However, the route took them through France. This is the bit where he informs his platoon leader that they need to do a detour around France because he would be attrested upon entering France. Safe to say his friends were not impressed. There's always that one guy. My family ancestry can be traced back to a court jester who served in the court of King Jacobith of Sweden. Whenever someone calls you a fool, you're just carrying on the legacy.